today's show, I'm going to talk to you all about wine bottles. You might be wondering what's up with all these different shaped bottles you see at the wine store. And um, I'll just kind of go through some of the history of why they're shaped the way they are and, um, you know, why those particular wines might be in those bottles. So the first bottle I want to talk about here, this is the uh, Burgundy bottle. So the Burgundy bottle is identified by this kind of gentle sloping shoulder that it has. And the real history behind this bottle, um, from what I can tell, is it was just reasonably easy to make by the glass makers. Um, there's no real sharp geometry train changes or anything like that, but there's really no like crazy technology in this bottle. But what bottle kind of got popular shortly after the Burgundy was this one. So this, this here is called a Bordeaux bottle. So when you look at the difference, you can see the Bordeaux bottle has a really sharp shoulder here. Um, and it's the other cool thing about the Bordeaux bottle is it's really flat. So um, you can stack this bottle one on top of the other if you have one of those um, diamond shaped wine racks. Whereas this one, if you start stacking them, they can kind of lean and fall off. So as a home winemaker, you might want to consider, if you're not sure what you want, you might want to consider the, uh, the Bordeaux bottle. Um, this particular Bordeaux bottle has this little indent in the bottle, which I'm sure you've all seen. That is called a, a punt. So the reasoning behind that, um, no one really knows for sure, but it could be one for like champagne bottles where before disgorging they would they could store them upside down. They can sort of stack them if they have this indent in the bottom. Um, the other thing is it kind of makes it look like there's a little bit more wine in there than there really is. So the third type, and th these are basically the top three types of bottles. So probably 98% of the wine in the store is me in one of these three bottles. So the third type is the, uh, the Hawk bottle. So this is, um, it's also called the Al Alsace. So this is a German style bottle and wines like um, Rieslings and Gewürztraminers are usually find, found in this bottle. So this bottle, you'll notice, is a little bit taller and thinner than the other bottles, and it's got a, a really um, long transition period here. And this bottle, the theory behind this is, um, with the Rieslings, instead of shipping them across the ocean, they're shipping them up the Rhine River. So they're not on these big boats getting jostled around, they're on these small boats calmly going up the river. And there's really not a lot of space, so this nice compact design isn't necessarily as durable, but it's compact. So you have the same problem with this one where you can't really stack it very well on top of each other. So, I mean, a rack like this, no problem, but a rack where you're um, stacking them on top of each other, it would be a little bit dangerous with this bottle. The, the um, Burgundy bottles, usually these bottles you find wines like... Um, Pinot Noir, um, Chardonnay, um, the, the Bordeaux bottles would be like your big reds, like your um, Cab Sauvs and uh, Merlots, and like I said, your your whites, like your uh, Rieslings and Gewürztraminers, your German style whites are usually in these bottles. Um, you notice I've got some greens, I've got some clears here. Um, it, as a general rule of thumb, usually red wine goes in darker bottles, usually green, and white water, or white wine goes in clear. So you can actually kind of see, make sure it's not discolored or beginning to oxidize, make sure it's nice and clear like what you want. And the fourth style here I'll show you, and this is a different animal all of its own, is the, um, the champagne bottle. So this one is very kind of similar to the burgundy bottle in shape, maybe a little bit more um, curvy, I guess you could say. But the big importance of this bottle is it has to hold up to um, high pressure because champagne is bottle fermented usually um, after the primary fermentation to give it that bubbly texture. And had you tried to put champagne in a bottle like this, um, it's probably gonna explode. 
or of course it's probably going to pop the cork off because there's nothing to hold it. So in the champagne bottle, you have this edge here um, that can take a, a wire retainer um, and you use a cork that's a little bit different than your wine cork. So it goes in, you have your wire retainer. Um, this one also has the, the punt in the bottom. And another thing about the punt is on a bottle that's meant to hold high pressure, um, if you have a flat bottom, you're gonna not really be as structurally strong. So the likelihood of exploding the bottom out of the bottle will be a little bit higher. So the punt actually might have a little bit of a real purpose in this case. Um, beyond this, um, if you're a home winemaker and you wanna make wine and you, you're trying to figure out what bottles to buy, there's nothing stopping you from putting in whatever bottle you want, but you do have some options just from a cool factor. Um, all these bottles you can get in different colors. So here's a Hawk bottle in blue glass, uh, brown glass. You also have the choice between um, cork tops and screw tops. So this one here has a screw top, which is getting more and more common nowadays. And finally, um, for those of you who want to save corks or you want to drink high volumes of wine at once you have the magnum bottle so everything listed here is a um, 750 milliliter or a fifth of a gallon um, this one here is a, a liter and a half so it holds twice as much wine if you want to have a party and you want to break it out sometimes it's nice to bottle a few wines up in these um, but I'll just kind of go over one last time basically the four styles that you really should know if you're a winemaker. Um, the Burgundy, probably the oldest design of these. The Bordeaux, the Hawk, and the Champagne. So hopefully from this you can uh, maybe better decide what you wanna buy when you're at the wine store looking to buy your 12 pack of uh, bottles.